just done with those neon lights now let's just take a little look now that is clean a friend of mine requested that I do a video on this so can say no what I have up here is a HUD or a head-up display some call it heads up display which i don't understand why because heads up means two or more heads well each of us has got only one head and unless both your heads are up you know what i mean comprende there you go so to me i consider this the most incredible tremendous my numero uno all-time favorite gadget ever just bear with my camera but that even looks brighter in person if you'd like to check out my gauges they are not that bright because it's uh, daytime so just to give you an idea for those who have the same car or even maybe a Mazda 2 it goes brighter than the gauges and night mode Okay. it's like a 3d or rather a holographic display up your windshield it shows real-time info on your speed the mileage battery voltage and an advanced reading if ever your car overheats there are times when I turn off the AC and your engine bay heats up so a yellow light flashes it immediately turns off once I turn the AC on which is a good thing because it's more sensitive when reading the temperature it gives you an idea of what's happening even before any light from the main gauge shows up now with a battery voltage reader very useful especially during these times when it's stuck for about weeks the mileage reader and the speedometer it does its job but what I like most is the speedometer, the color, it goes in uniform with all those other gauges. So this is our heads-up display. It's just a tiny box. It comes with a wire that you plug in here. Now this is for your power, on and off. And that button is to calibrate some of their car systems. It does come in black probably five by three inches and very lightweight so this display it also comes with that uh, gooey sticky thingy which you can put right under possibility for them to melt in extreme heat so i suggest that you use a double-sided tape if ever right up your dashboard you'll have this perfect gap where your wire is going to fit snug. Now let it run through there. And I probably won't take the whole thing off. Those wires are going to be so tucked in. No one's going to notice. Now just continue running your wire right in there. Going down. Right there. And we'll have a very special gap here again, which fits perfectly as if it was purposely done for this install. Well done, Mazda. So at the end of your wire is this OBD connector. It has around seven pins, which I really don't know why, cause the OBD two has about 16 of them I mean 16 pins they're located down here that's where it is 16 pins well it is what it is the next thing we're gonna do is simply plug and play so they say that an OBD2 comes with cars from the year 1996 and up. One last thing that comes with your display, which I never used, 
is this reflective film. Just stick it onto your windshield and you'll notice that the light becomes a bit brighter. But yeah, just to straighten it up. Problem here is that there will be double reflection. And the illusion of your display is not gonna look natural. So this is the view from the outside and it's not gonna look good. So it's better off without. If you're not on full tint and you're in direct sunlight while driving, these things are gonna heat up. This part right here. So I just take it off in extreme heat. And if you're parked for long hours on a hot sunny day, I suggest that you just take it off or cover it with something or get a sunshade. That good old sunshade will also lessen the wear and tear of your dashboard. Now, the reason why mine is located right here is that because this is the only flat surface there is. So if I put them right down here, it's not gonna look good. It actually looks good on a higher slope. And the higher the slope is, the more it projects a prominent display. One thing that I love about it is that it blends with the whole interior, the black. And up the dashboard, oh man, seamless. So whatever you see here is what it is. No enhancement whatsoever. And one thing I can say about the display, amazingly clear. Just to give you an idea how it does on a daytime and on a rocky road, oh man, it holds on. Well, some may say that this would obstruct their view of the road. Well, I won't argue. Reason why it's on the middle area. It just took me minutes to adjust on that view since day one. The truth is, if you're zoned into the road, you see pass through all these gauges. Now this has been with me for about 8 months now, no problems whatsoever. So I wonder why this is so underrated. You know, my, all my friends, when they first saw this, they were all at awe. And to think that this was out in the market around 4 or 5 years ago, yet still they never grew old. And whenever I start the car, and that's the first thing I see, always gets me hyped and why not these are like tony stark stuff man this is like the future right in front of you so whoever's watching this 30 years from now you guys in the year 2050 we stole this stuff from you <laughs> enough my imaginary world so you guys just check out my video if you want to i've got tons coming out but before i end i really have to do this it's something that I'm, you know, you know why I love the tech? Because I am the Batman. Those are your wires? What the?